Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh my god, can you hear the birds chirping? Spring is upon us. I'm so happy. Sp I almost said spummer. <laughs> like spring and summer. Anyway, summer is like where I live. I mean, I love fall because of Halloween. Anyway, that has nothing to do with what we're going to be doing today. Uh, so yesterday, I just randomly decided to pour some resin and drop some ink. It was completely like random and I haven't done that in a very long time. Probably since I started this YouTube channel, like everything I make and do is either for a commission, like a custom piece, or it's for a YouTube video. Like I don't ever just sit down and make things for me, for fun. There was a lot of Snapchats in a row. <laughs> so obviously um, what we're gonna be doing today is also for a video, but yesterday just kind of like <sighs> reminded me of how much I loved like playing around with inks and kind of seeing what they do and you know, figuring out different patterns and what colors work together and what don't. And the piece that I made, like the front of it, actually I have it right in front of me. The front of it isn't super incredible. I mean, the colors are pretty, but it's just, it's not my favorite, but the back is where it's at. Isn't that super pretty? Anyway, this is the longest intro and none of you asked for that. So what I thought we could do, especially with like everything that's going on right now, I thought it would be kind of nice, fun, relaxing to do like just I don't know, just playing around with resin and alcohol ink and figuring out different things and like playing with different stuff and I just thought that we could drop some ink together. So if you're interested in just kind of like hanging out, playing with resin and alcohol ink with me, then can, obviously with me, with who else? With Sean, because this is his channel now apparently. Uh, <laughs> then continue watching. All right, we've got two different angles again because this is apparently my favorite thing. It's not my favorite thing to edit, but it does allow me to talk to you guys and show you what I'm doing. Uh, so I have two different resins mixed up. I have about one and a half cups of both. So this is regular casting resin. I should probably label them so I remember. Actually, we'll just go by the stick that's in it because I have this really horrible ratchet popsicle stick in this one. Uh, and in this one, I have this like spatula basically um so i don't know if i told you but this is the medium viscosity resin so now i have six molds instead of five plans change on here all the time i hope that's okay with you so i decided to do three casting three medium viscosity and we'll just try to like do different color combinations and different effects and stuff so i also have that i need to clean out actually just super easy to clean out with silicone cups just peel it on out and it's ready to go again uh, but I do have these little silicone cups that I might be using you know to mix up like maybe some white alcohol ink with some resin and do kind of like that cool smoky effect that we've done before so I'm just getting this out and then we're good both ready to go Oh, I did want to mention um, some like reusable things because I get messages about this. Sorry, my glove just squeaked. Um, I get messages about, you know, reusing some uh, tools so that, you know, you're not going through plastic cups all the time. You're not going through gloves so quickly because it can rack up and it does, you know, it's a lot. Um, so what I usually do is I will reuse my gloves until they rip. Uh, so I have literally an entire pile of gloves over here that I just kind of cycle through. I also have like the gloves that are in my drawer, the, like the new ones, but I do kind of like go through these and reuse them over and over and over again until they rip. I also use these hard plastic measuring cups. Um, and these are amazing because you, be, because, uh, because you can just kind of like, once the excess resin, the resin that you like is left over, cures and the next day you can just go and squeeze it and peel out the hardened uh, resin and then you can reuse that cup instead of using like you know plastic cups over and over again um, and like having to throw those away anyway let's get into pouring some resin so I think I'm gonna have these ones be medium viscosity and then these ones be regular casting I have had these sitting in the cups for a couple of minutes 
Uh, I do like to let them sit for a bit because, especially the casting resin, because it's thinner than the medium viscosity one. The medium viscosity is a resin or a thicker resin and it's really good for top coats, but the casting resin is thinner and I like to let it sit a bit before I put uh, alcohol ink in it because it slows the alcohol ink down. So I'm going to pour some in here. And I do have like the tiniest bit of resin left in here and I'll probably use that and pour it into one of these little silicone cups I was showing you before. So I will probably do that and then mix in some white alcohol ink so we can do like a wispy smoky effect in one of these or maybe a couple of these because it's kind of one of my favorite things to do. So now the medium viscosity one. I've actually never done alcohol ink in the medium viscosity resin. I don't think so anyway. There are more bubbles in the medium viscosity resin only because it's thicker. And you obviously when you're mixing, you get more bubbles. And then the casting, the regular casting resin is thinner, so you get less bubbles and it's easier for the bubbles to rise. So I'm gonna be using my heat gun here instead of a torch because I don't want uh, these resin pieces to kind of melt and stick to the molds. When you use a torch like this, like real fire, um, it can melt the mold and kind of melt your resin piece to the mold. And I have ripped many molds before by doing that. So I highly recommend a heat gun. I also have this one, but it, it's it got too much like power to it because it kind of like pushes the resin around. Whereas this is just kind of like, it's basically, I've said this before, but it's basically a glorified hair dryer. So I'm going to pour some of this leftover resin into this little cup so that it's easier to mix uh, some ink into. So I think what I'm going to do is take two popsicle sticks uh, that I'm going to be mixing these with and write which one's which on the popsicle stick. There we go. So this popsicle stick says casting and this one says medium V. So now we know which one's which. So I have some white alcohol ink in this little bottle. It is actually this one. This is the one that I always use. It is linked down in the Amazon supply list in my description, but it's the Jackard pinata white alcohol ink um i just have it in this little squeezy bottle because it's a lot easier and this is like a nice tiny little what did sean call it last time i already forget proboscis oh that sounded that sounded wrong that was probably so wrong so i'm going to take some of this drop it right into the little cups of resin and then mix it up all right, so we are finally going to get started on dropping some alcohol ink. I'm gonna start with the casting resin ones. So what I'm actually going to do is switch over to doing the medium viscosity. We started with the casting resin, but I'm gonna start dropping ink into the medium viscosity because it cures a lot faster and I don't want it to cure before uh, we actually get to them. So, and I know the casting resin will be fine for a while. So we're gonna move on to the uh, medium viscosity and we're gonna drop some ink into that.
Okay, so this last one that I've just done that is kind of doing its thing right now. Uh, as you could see probably with the popsicle stick that I was mixing it with, it started to be too thick. It is still kind of like accepting the alcohol ink and it isn't just sitting on top like I kind of thought it would, but it did start to do that thing. I had to like run and put groceries away, but so I came back and then I started dropping ink and then it just was too thick to kind of like mix around. But honestly, I'm really excited to see how this looks because it's super different and kind of funky and weird. I did not think it was going to do that. So I'm actually really excited that it did that because I think it's gonna be weird and cool. And I'm excited to see what it looks like tomorrow. So now that concludes, concludes, concludes the uh, medium viscosity ones. So we're gonna move on to the last two casting resin ones. Oh, also, I almost forgot to say, when I did this last one, I that started to be really weird. I also put some of the casting resin mixture in of the white and resin alcohol ink. So this is the casting resin one. And I kind of just wanted to see what it would do if I put casting resin in the medium viscosity to kind of see if it would cure weird, if it wouldn't cure at all, if it would kind of like ruin it a little bit. So this is all just experiments. And I'm excited. It looks weird, right? Okay, so I, what I think I'm going to do is one of these, I'm going to do the casting resin one. And then one of them, I'm going to try the medium viscosity mixture and just kind of see what that does. Kind of like how I did the other one where I put in a different kind of resin. I just want to see what it does. And now Sean is blow drying his hair. So I think I will see you guys tomorrow when we're going to pop these out. I'm super excited to pop these out. Which one are you excited for the most? Because I'm personally excited for the last medium viscosity one. This one right here. I'm so excited to see that one get popped out tomorrow. So I will see you guys in 24 hours.
Okay, so it's 24 hours later. We definitely got some variety. I just want to, I think we all want to talk about the brain that we made, the green brain. What is this? Okay, so I honestly forget um, what I did in each one, but I will put it up on the screen because when I'm editing, I will obviously find out what I did. So I'll put it up on the screen, what I did, how I got this uh, effect. What is this? It's so freaky and weird. It's a brain, right? So from there, I definitely want to move on to this one. It's just so pretty. You guys know I love like lavender and purple and teal, especially with this wispy kind of smoky effect. It's beautiful. I'm pretty sure I did the white medium viscosity mixture in, you know, more medium viscosity. So again, we will see, um, I'll put it on the screen what it actually was and how I got this effect, but it's so pretty. And it's actually really interesting. If this is both medium viscosities, in each other that was a weird way to put it um but if this is both medium viscosity then that's pretty interesting that it still gives you that same wispy effect that casting resin will do when you mix white into it and then another one that we did medium viscosity with was this one it reminds me of a rose or something like you know different petals like different layers it's so pretty i love the colors so much and then the last medium viscosity one, the one that I said I was most excited for, oddly, I mean the colors are really pretty, but it's oddly not my favorite. All of, basically all of the resin, like when I look at it this way, you can tell that a lot of the resin just like stuck to the back of the piece. It didn't like drip to the front or do any of like, you know, like a textured wavy thing. It basically just stayed on the back, which is so weird because this was the one where it got like really chunky at the end and I was trying to like wisp it around and it was just not having it. So besides the brain one, which like I said was casting resin, the other two casting resin ones came out like this. And this one, I have gotten this effect before. This is the kind of thing where I was talking about where the white will kind of like, or the colors will kind of sink to the very front and do these dots. I don't mind them. A lot of people don't like them. But the colors in this one did not mix very well. A lot of it is kind of like a grayish color. So that was this one, which we've gotten that effect before. But this one, I think, uh, I don't know. I'm between this one and the rose looking one. Look at them together. They're beautiful. Um, but this one is funky and weird. Again, I'm excited to see what I did for this to get this effect. But it almost has a mixture of like a wispy kind of effect, a smoky effect with the brain effect. So right here, there's like weird little like lumpies kind of coming through. And I think that's probably whatever kind of white mixture I put in there, um, whether it was the casting resin or the medium viscosity one. But this one is so pretty. I love mixing green and teal. So I hope you guys enjoyed experimenting with me. I definitely want to do more of these where we just kind of like dive in and try something different and see what comes up, especially with alcohol ink, because I feel like it is so unpredictable that you could get anything if you try different mixtures. As usual, let me know which one's your favorite and why. I just, I don't know the green one or the pink one, right? Anyway, I wanna know what your favorite is. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Make sure you're following me on Instagram. It is at artsymadwoman. Oh, I missed having Sean here to like put the artsy mad woman right over his face. And hit the button down below to subscribe if you haven't already. I love you guys so freaking much, and I will see you on the next video. Goodbye. That wasn't so bad. I'm gonna go.